Hello MotoGP fans, welcome back to ZNGP today. Jack Miller has expressed concerns about the performance of the 2024 KTM MotoGP bike following a challenging British Grand Prix at Silverstone. Miller observed that the current bike is more sensitive to temperature fluctuations than its predecessors, which significantly impacted his race weekend. Mark Marquez recently spoke candidly about his MotoGP career, reflecting on his past achievements, current challenges, and future prospects. Despite a tough start to the British Grand Prix weekend, where he crashed in the first race, Marquez bounced back to finish fourth on Sunday, just missing out on a podium. With the next race set for Austria, Marquez's future remains a topic of considerable interest. Ducati's dominance at the British Grand Prix was undeniable, with a podium sweep and eight bikes in the top ten. Inia Bastianini's impressive double victory marked a significant turnaround after a challenging 2023. Davide Tardazzi, Ducati's team manager, shared his insights on Bastianini's progress and the team's performance. Don't forget to click subscribe button and the bell icon for MotoGP news update. Jack Miller's weekend at Silverstone began with a solid performance in the sprint race, where he finished 7th. However, his fortunes took a turn for the worse in the main race, where he struggled with grip issues and finished in 12th place. Miller's difficulties were evident as he trailed nearly 10 seconds behind Pedro Acosta, who was the leading KTM rider in 9th. Miller attributed much of his struggle to the bike's sensitivity to temperature changes. The chilly conditions at Silverstone highlighted a key weakness in the 2024 KTM, impacting his ability to maintain consistent grip throughout the race. I feel more sensitive than in the past, that's for certain. But those boys are going extremely well. Fabio, Cordero, came past me with two to go, and then that opened the door for Frankie, Morbidelli. I watched Frankie dispense of Fabio pretty quick. Just seeing the amount of grip he had back end of the race was impressive. Quote from Jack Miller. Miller's comments reflect a broader issue for KTM, as the bike's handling under varying temperature conditions has become a focal point of concern. The Australian rider noted that the 2024 spec Michelin tires, which are used in the season, may be contributing to the problem. Miller suggested that the 2024 Michelin tires could be part of the issue as they seem to be more sensitive to temperature changes compared to previous versions. This sensitivity can exacerbate grip issues, especially in colder conditions. I think they are a little bit more sensitive to temperature, for some more than others, maybe. It's really a hard one to put your finger on. I can't comment for anyone else, but I do find that they are so maybe more than in the past. Miller's observations indicate that both the bike's performance and the new tires are factors in the grip problems he experienced. The combination of these elements has made it challenging for KTM to maintain competitive performance across different tracks and conditions. As Miller navigates these challenges, he also noted that his lack of grip forced him to adjust his riding style. He had to be particularly cautious in corners, which affected his overall race performance. It's just one of those things that didn't feel like I had great edge from the beginning to the end. I just had to really focus on being patient, waiting to get the thing up. I couldn't use any of the edge from the get-go. Every time I put it into turn 3, third last corner into the last chicane, I had to be super gentle on forcing the change of direction because I'd lose the grip pretty early on. Moving forward, Miller and KTM faced the task of addressing these performance issues. The challenge will be to improve the bike's handling in varying temperatures and optimize the use of the new Michelin tires. Miller remains focused on improving his performance despite these setbacks. He emphasized the need to work on tire management and find solutions to the grip issues that have been affecting his results. We need to work on being able to use the tires better or use the potential better. Our target is that top 4-5 and if we can fight for the podium as we did in other races. Miller concluded. Jack Miller's assessment of the 2024 KTM MotoGP bike underscores the ongoing challenges with temperature sensitivity and tire performance. 
As the season progresses, KTM will need to address these issues to enhance their competitiveness. Stay tuned for more updates and insights from the world of MotoGP as teams and riders continue to adapt and evolve throughout the season. In a recent interview, Marc Marquez discussed his transition to the Grezzini team and his upcoming move to Ducati's official team. The Spaniard highlighted how crucial the Grezzini team has been in helping him regain his confidence and rebuild his career. When I decided to go to the Grezzini team, of course, it was first of all to regain my confidence. The Grezzini team created an atmosphere to rebuild the rider, and they rebuilt me. In just six or seven races they have become super important in my career. Quote from Marc Marquez. Marquez elaborated on his decision-making process regarding his move to Ducati. He had two options, staying with Grezzini with a 2025 bike or moving to Ducati's official team with an official bike. Ultimately, he chose the latter, which he believes was the best scenario for his career. When Ducati told me that they were considering me for the team in 2025, it was already a pleasure. I may have won a lot in the past, but the life of a sportsman is the present, not the future or the past. Reflecting on his career, Marquez acknowledged the natural progression of an athlete's journey. He noted that while he was once at the pinnacle of the sport, younger riders now bring a different kind of aggression and natural talent. When I follow Acosta, Martin or even Banyaya, who are five or even ten years younger than me, they go naturally. Sometimes they don't think much about the bike and that can be positive. Marquez also touched on the inevitable decline that comes with age and experience. He admitted that while he is working hard to maintain his competitiveness, he is uncertain if a decline has already begun or if it will happen in the future. Every athlete has his moment, and when you are at the top, you have to work harder and harder to make that fall a little bit softer. I don't know if that decline has already started for me, or if it will happen in a year, or maybe in two. This is something that we will understand in something like five years, Marquez told by Modisan. Despite considering retirement, Marquez remains focused on continuing his career. He is determined to stay competitive and aims to be in the top six in every race, with the goal of being in the top three as a measure of true competitiveness. For me, competitive means being in the top six in every race and very competitive means being in the top three. Marquez is not yet ready to think about retirement, even though it is a possibility he has considered. He wants to stay in the sport longer than his current contract, and hopes to remain competitive in the coming years. You never know if this will be my last contract, but that is not my wish. We will see if I feel competitive, Marquez concluded. Mark Marquez's reflections on his career and future underscore the challenges and uncertainties that come with being a top athlete. As he prepares for the remainder of the season and his transition to Ducati, his focus remains on maintaining his competitive edge and continuing to excel in MotoGP. Stay tuned for more updates as the season progresses and Marquez's journey unfolds. Enea Bastianini's recent performances have highlighted a dramatic shift in his career. After a season marred by injuries, Bastianini achieved his first double win at Silverstone, a result that has elevated his confidence and position in the championship. Emiya has finally got 2023 out of the way, so now he has the right attitude to do what his talent allows him to do. I think he will be among the title contenders. As a team, it is good to have both drivers in the running. Tardazzi praised Bastianini's renewed confidence, noting a significant change in his demeanor since Friday. The rider, who previously struggled with self-doubt, appeared calm and self-assured during the weekend. I have appreciated his attitude since Friday morning. Before he was not convinced by the bike and he was not smiling, here he looked calm and very confident. Quote from Davide Tardazzi. Ducati's performance at Silverstone was exceptional, with all eight bikes finishing in the top ten. However, it was also a strategic weekend for reigning world champion Francesco Bagnaia, who opted for a cautious approach after a crash in the sprint race. 
When you fight for the championship you always have to try to bring home as much as possible, and today for him it was third place. He risked falling a couple of times and then preferred to settle for it. Banaya's decision to prioritize points over a potential victory was seen as a smart move in the context of the championship battle. Ducati's achievement at Silverstone, especially given Franco Morbidelli's double long lap penalty, underscored the team's strength and unity. Tardazzi expressed his satisfaction with the team's performance both on and off the track. This makes us very happy. It is a thank you to the guys at home who are working hard so that we can do this. We can enjoy a great team both on the track and in Borgo Panigale, Tardazzi concluded. Ducati's continued dominance in MotoGP and Bastianini's resurgence mark a promising phase for the Italian manufacturer. As the season progresses, Bastianini's newfound confidence and the team's strong performances could make for an exciting championship battle. Stay tuned for more updates as the season unfolds. Thanks for watching ZNGP today, and this is your MotoGP news update. See you in the next video.